right. I might have dressed up a little more if I'd known you were going to. That's perfect. I'm going to catch you in your everyday attire. Dr. McSwain, what part of your own seminary education was most formative for you? Well, it was a long time ago, so uh, I guess I have to divide it up into two parts. My uh, MDiv study, which at that time was a BD, uh, was a great ethical awakening for me. Uh, I went to Southwestern Seminary, and the school was very much influenced by T.B. Maston and his generation of teachers there. And there was a great commitment to the church being ethically uh, a part of its environment and making a difference in the world. And Bill Pinson was a very great personal influence there. Uh, I remember best the interaction with fellow students, uh, with uh, a few professors, it was a very large place, at that time the largest seminary in the world, so th there wasn't a lot of personal interaction with faculty, and I missed that. Then graduate study at Southern Seminary was very transformative in that uh, it was a different model of learning, very challenging, and I guess most of my uh, own style and understandings was more shaped by that environment than the first one. But those are the things that stand out in my memory. Yeah. What about your experiences here? What has been the most memorable experience as a McAfee professor? Well, the most memorable part of that experience is being here. I, I actually uh, had retired uh, from Shorter College and was uh, not fully happy in that uh, decision. And just to have the opportunity to come here was uh, a great sense of affirmation for me. Uh, as I look back on the McAfee experience, uh, the collegiality of the faculty has been uh, extraordinary. Uh, we really are friends as well as uh, teachers here and that's very, been very meaningful for me. Uh, there's so much more community uh, here than most seminary environments although I think that's harder and harder to maintain, but things like the faculty student retreat, the annual faculty retreat, uh, weekly worship experiences, uh, and having an office in the admissions area uh, means there's a lot of interaction by students with not only faculty but staff as well. So. Uh, I think the most memorable experience for me is just being a part of a community of learning uh, where we know each other, struggle together with each other, and care for each other. Which of all of the courses that you've taught have influenced you personally the most? Well, that one's pretty easy, uh, change in conflict in the church. Uh, it's a mainstay course that I've uh, developed over the years and uh, when you're dealing with congregational studies and issues like conflict, I think, uh, you, I think your knowledge is cumulative. The more you invest in reading and interacting as a consultant and uh, teaching students and watching them interact with material, I think the more you enlarge some degree of specialization in that area. Uh, so I think it's influenced me the most because I've learned the most from doing it and also I think it 
probably contributes the most for uh, students' future ministry opportunities. Yeah. You've mentioned a few distinctives about what it's like to be on faculty, but what do you think is distinctive about McAfee? Well, most especially it's diversity. Uh, I taught 23 years at Southern Seminary, and uh, the difference in the student body and the faculty, that was another generation, but at that time and in that place, was kind of like night and day from McAfee. Uh, there's a much greater gender inclusiveness here, racial inclusiveness, and theological variety. And all of that makes for a yeastier uh, kind of learning environment, in my opinion. Uh, and then, as I mentioned earlier, the sense of community. Uh, it's not totally there. We have our issues uh, in terms of day students, night students, full-time students, part-time students. Uh, but there is uh, much more uh, sense of community here than in many uh, seminaries, uh, and certainly my previous experience in seminary. What have you found most rewarding and meaningful about teaching at McAfee, and is there anything that you would do differently? Well, I think clearly the freedom of expression. This is a really free place in which faculty can explore new ideas without um, fear that some administrator is going to come down on them. The uh, academic freedom here is both amazing, sometimes a little scary, uh, but I think a wonderful strength. Uh, if I were to do differently, uh, I would probably try to work a little less hard at tasks and spend more time interacting with students and getting to know students one-on-one. -on -one. And part of that is my personality. I'm more task-oriented than person-oriented, and I know that. And because of that, I get asked to do a lot of tasks, which makes it even more difficult. <laughs> Uh, to have uh, some of the personal uh, levels of interaction. Uh, but I would, I've even thought recently, I wish I had uh, worked at some informal group meetings for students interested in congregational ministry, for instance, and spent more energy doing that. I'd had, I would have been forced to give up writing the rare books I've written if I'd done that, but uh, it's, it's all a matter of balance, I guess. I'm like Will Campbell. When he was asked what he did, he said he was an author of rare books. They are rarely read. <laughs> <laughs> well, how has theological education changed over the course of your teaching career? What has been gained by that change and what are we losing by that change? Well, it's changed very much in terms of the variety of students going to seminaries. Uh, that's, that's a major change. Uh, more uh, women, older students, and more minority students than when I began teaching eons ago. Uh, the development of evangelical seminaries has been a primary uh, effect in theological education. Uh, in the past, Roman Catholics and the mainline seminaries were the sort of predominant prestigious ones and uh, the emergence of more conservative and evangelical seminaries has been a major trend. Um, 
what has been gained, what has been lost. Uh, one of the things that's been gained, I think, is uh, more focus on globalization. Uh, I think theological education is much more concerned about the world, less provincial, uh, particularly ethnic and uh, global kinds of diversity. Uh, I think it's also changed in the direction of more specialization in the practice of ministry. Uh, pastoral care is a discipline, uh, social work in some places, uh, and I think more attention to the church as the arena for ministry. Uh, what has been lost in that is less focus on the classical disciplines. Uh, I think students today as a whole, there are exceptions, but students today as a whole are less focused on sort of the core biblical, theological, historical uh, uh, coursework that was more central in theological education of at least, let's say, 50 years ago. Yeah. The last question, what advice, challenge, or encouragement would you give to the current students and alumni of McAfee? Well, I tried to do some of that in my last sermon here. Uh, uh, open be open to global experiences. I really think in our kind of world, uh, more and more students and alums ought to invest a part of their lives in some kind of overseas venture in terms of learning or ministry or missions uh, because it's a, it, there are grand opportunities uh, for doing the work of the gospel overseas and around the world mm -hmm. and in varied community contexts here. Uh, second, I think it's critical to keep the church central in one's life. The church is not perfect. Congregations are clay pots. They're earthen vessels. Uh, but I, I believe in the church more than I ever have. And I believe in a church that preserves a certain kind of tradition uh, so that relevance is less important to me than it used to be. That may be a function of age, uh, but there's a sense in which the church can't please everybody, and therefore it must choose who it will please, and that ought to be Jesus Christ. So keeping the church central uh, would be encouragement. Uh, Brian McLaren wrote a very creative kind of piece recently, an article in which he uh, took a different tack about the role of seminaries. Normally in the past we've seen seminaries as the handmaidens of the congregation and the churches get concerned when seminaries are teaching their students uh, what is not immediately practical or even uh, necessarily uh, consistent with their heritage. And he was taking the opposite tack that what students and graduates need to do is to teach the church what they've learned in seminary because his argument was the church is really behind where seminaries are. The seminaries are more uh, forward thinking, cutting edge, where congregations need to be and that we need to shift the dialogue at that point. And I think that has something to commend itself to the church of the future and to our students and alumni. I'm Dr. McSwain, I appreciate your time uh, to McAfee and for this interview. Is there any 
last things you would want to say? Well, it's just been a great privilege and honor for me to have this opportunity. Uh, I never imagined when I I left theological education in 1993 that I would have such an opportunity again. I uh, dispensed with much of my library at that time, which I wished I hadn't, uh, and to get to teach at McAfee, uh, to get to meet the students I have met and interact in this place has really been uh, a high point in my whole career. And so I'm grateful to Alan Culpepper and others who made it possible for me to be here, and most especially my faculty colleagues. Well, thank you, Dr. McSwain. You're welcome.